This is probably one of the most fascinating eras we have ever lived because AI literally you see on the TV, ChatGPT, Sora, many things are going to change soon every aspect of our life. So I think as individuals, we have to adapt to the way that how this change is going to change our life. Very importantly, uh, I will see the two types of people. One, you're going to use AI, or the other type, you don't use AI. So again, if that's the wave is coming, we better make sure we suit up and get ourselves ready for that. There's too many aspects to that. All this AI changing on the text, you know, into speech, in the videos, in the different way of uh, automate certain processes. But what is fascinating now is that because of the machine learning capabilities, you never really know what kind of amazing things that are coming up. So recently, of course, we've heard that, you know, Elon Musk's company actually make his AI open source. Overnight, there's many, many tech companies are also able to leverage on that. It's a very interesting space for everybody to watch out. I think this is going to be an area of growing and the next five to 10 years, there'll be amazing company that we're going to surface. Computer science, so technology is always an industry that we continue hiring. But the key thing here is that portfolios is very important or the skill is very important. As an employer, they will look at what you have done in the past or that how much commitment that you are willing to pick up the skills. So whether you are a student at mid-career, if you're interested in this, apart from having a very good solid structure of learning, I will feel that you should study a lot online. There's amazing, amazing, uh, you know, tutorials, information that each individual can actually leveraging on. But skill is the future. I have a friend that who actually says that, you know, ChatGPT, generative AI is the super summer intent. How I see this is it will not replace people soon, but again, gradually some of these things may affect us in a way. But as an entrepreneur, my productivity is certainly increased a lot. So again, you know, I use them to, to do my expanding of research and you know, help me make some informed decisions. So actually applying AI and using AI, you will make our life easier. So now I feel that with uh, the AI, I can work two times faster. I have a great sessions with the students. I always love to do this. The reason being is that they are young, uh, they are ready you know, to actually take on the work. If I could summarize some of the key points that we share, it's a passion to the industry about IT, about technology, what is actually changing. And most importantly, we talk about the soft skill part of things. For example, right, having a good attitude, taking control of your future by planning. And lastly, very important that stay hungry, stay foolish. I think we borrow the, the famous state of uh, Steve Jobs. But quite surprisingly, quite a number of them, they have another two years for their study, but they actually start to plan out for their employment, so for their job. We also discuss and share a little bit about some of the, the techniques or tips of preparing for interviews, uh, employment, or so career advice. But if I could again summarize on the last point is that to have an angle in mind. So wherever you currently study or you are about to study, it's important to say who you wanted to be in the future. I think that will give you some sort of lights to say, hey, what is the cost? I wish everybody all the best. Uh, have a great journey of uh, you know, your study as well as for your employment.